So we look at the future of energy. There's a lot of uh, uh, you know invention uh, that could happen. For example, I uh, I work on batteries. There are a lot of materials change inside the batteries. You need to take care of. They uh, shorten the battery life. You cannot do as many charging discharging cycles. They don't last that long. You know over years. Uh, the challenging is. Uh, how do you design the right materials to make them last longer? For electric cars, you need the uh, energy density. Uh, that's how much energy you store per unit weight or volume of the batteries to be higher. Uh, the second very important thing is the cost, the price. So if we could cut the cost by about half, I think we will be there. Energy storage for renewables integrated together with electrical grid. That's another challenge we are facing. Um, if you think about uh, for grid scale storage, you want 20, 30 years lifetime. Uh, so every day if you do one cycle, you can calculate with 30 years, you roughly need 10,000 cycles of batteries lasting for 30 years. So we don't have battery yet which can do such a long cycle life. That's number one challenge we are facing. Number two is you still need a cost to be very low, but our battery cost certainly is not there yet. And then you also need them to be safe. This really brings out a challenge. How do you design your batteries? What's the materials in there? You make them intrinsically safe. I think these are exciting uh, problems uh, for us to uh, work on in academia as well as in industry. I have been doing research on uh, new materials for energy, including solar cells. I think we should be very proud of the progress uh, the whole world has made. If you look at 10 years ago, we are talking about several dollars per watt of power. Now you look at the, uh, the cost coming down, I think we are getting there. We are already you know, uh, uh, the same as uh, the coal. And, uh, and below 6 cents kilowatt, kilowatt hour will be cheaper than coal, considering environmental impact as well. We need the materials to be uh, uh, low cost, high abundance. Our processing needs to be simplified. Our PV uh, uh, panel efficiency needs to go higher and higher. And the next direction, particularly relating to me, uh, related to me, is to actually make the PV uh, uh, cell thinner flexible, uh, easier to be uh, installed. I think this transition to renewable and uh, will take place in a big scale uh, next 10 to 15 years. And in California right here we have a 50% 50, 50 renewable requirement. Uh, so this uh, will, will be a, a great example to uh, uh, you know, motivate the whole world to do the same. Mm -hmm.